Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel for all things ServiceNow. So on this video, we're going to play around again with Flow Designer. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a flow which allows us to resend approvals. So I've had um, requirements in the past by clients where we've sent out approvals for, let's say, changes or requests, and we want to send a reminder out seven days later, perhaps. So instead of using a scheduled job, we're going to set up a flow. What we're going to use in that, we're going to use, um, we're going to look up for some records. We're going to find the ones that, that are relevant. So perhaps those that are still in requested. We're going to um, use a action. So that's um, a custom action I created in a previous video, which is around um, sending an event. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. And we're going to send an email. So we're going to uh, probably create a, a new email as well to do this with. So before we get started i just want to say thank you to everyone that's subscribed so far and anyone that's put comments in um, i'm really grateful for all the comments and subscriptions if you're new around here then I appreciate you dropping by to check this out if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button um, hit like and you know drop the bell a, a quick ding and then you'll get updated when i update videos just like this one okay so let's get started so as I said, what we're going to do is send out approval reminders based on approvals that haven't been done. So in order to do that, we're going to use Flow Designer and we're going to probably need to create a new email because in my personal development instance, I don't have an email that's going to suit. So we're going to head on over to notifications. If I spell it correctly. Here we go. Uh, just pick there. Right. And we're going to create a new notification. So we're going to call it approval reminder. Reminders, let's go for that. And that will be on the approval table. And let's be nice, let's categorize it as well. Now we're going to change this in a second, so I don't think it matters what we put there. Approver, that's who we're going to send it to what will it contain we're going to keep it really simple because it's not about the notification reminder okay so let's for now let's save that what's that oh okay let's just put that in there Right, let's save that. We'll come back to that in a second. So let's go and create our event. Now what we're going to do, um, as I mentioned in the intro, is we're going to use the flow to trigger off an, uh, an event and send the email. And I'll explain why in a second when we get there. So we're going to create a new event. If you haven't used events before, they're really, really useful. Um, so they can allow us to trigger things like notifications, um, they can trigger uh, UI script actions. You can also um, trigger an event to be caught within a workflow and then continue a workflow activity. I've done that a few times. Um, if anyone wants to know more on that, just drop something in the comments below. But I'm going to call this test approval reminder. In fact, I'm going to do this Z. The reason I'm putting Z at the start, and I don't advise that you do that, but I'm going to do that just so I know when I look for the event, it's going to be right at the bottom. Fired by uh, flow designer approval reminder test, and that'll do. Okay, so let's copy that so we know exactly what it is. Let's go to uh, notification. Where is it? Here we, here we go. And it's going to be triggered when the event is sent. There we go, right at the bottom. There was a method in my madness. So that's us done with the notification. Let's go to the interesting part. Let's go over to the flow designer. So we head over to flow designer. We're going to create a new flow called approval reminder test and we're going to run it as a system user and now we have to start picking our trigger so as i've mentioned on a previous video um, 
and I should have said actually right on right at the start that I'm using Paris for this so I think we get some some different types of triggers but predominantly you get um, you can trigger a flow based on when something's created or updated you can trigger it based on a schedule you can also now trigger it based on an inbound action um, I've done that a couple of times and of course you can trigger it via a script now I haven't done any videos based on script yet but I'm certainly going to do it because I've, I've had a few use cases where I've had to do that um, and it's quite useful and quite interesting so I will do one of those but for now we're going to do a weekly trigger and we're going to send them on a Tuesday I'm not going to send I, I tend not to send reminder emails out on a Monday or Friday so the start of the business week or the end of the business week because on a Friday people are tired and they want to finish early and on a Monday people have just started and they just want to crack on with work rather than reading emails so I always try and do it on a Tuesday morning so we're, we're going to go for Tuesday at 10 o'clock so what do we do need to do now so the whole requirement is around sending out approvals to remind people so these people have already had reminders and how often do we want to pester them is I guess based on requirements but we're gonna say um, after if they haven't approved within seven days that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna to need to use our first action which is look up records so this is us searching for all those records the table we need to look at is the system approval table and we're gonna say created so created before the last seven days so something that's created in the last seven days and the state is still in requested now you can use your own logic here um, if we wanted to we could say and approval for task type is change requests so you, you could limit this to only doing uh, approval reminders based on change requests or request items for example so you could have different flows um, we're not going to I don't think we, we're just gonna leave it like that keep it generic so now we've we've done a search we've looked up all our records we're now going to explore this new flow logic that we haven't talked about on, on certainly on my series of videos but we're going to use this new action um, here called for each so what will happen is when we've looked up all the records, so we're looking at records, not one record, it will return us an array, an array of objects or array of records. So those array will, that array will obviously have a number of records in it. And for each of those records that comes back, we want to do the same thing. And we can do that using for each. So for each item, and what is the item? Well, it's that, that's the record. So for each item, we then use this little plus and that tells us what logic we're going to do for each of those. But for each of those items, we are going to send an email. Now, I could use the send email action and I could type in whatever I wanted to down here and use that. Now, I've said in the previous video, personally, I don't like using the email action in this or the legacy workflow um, mechanism because if I'm an administrator I want to know there's one place where all my notifications are if a notification is um, I don't know if it's spelled incorrectly or it needs rebranding I, I don't want to go to three different places potentially to, to find that notification and change it there um, I only want to go in one place so what I try and tend to do is trigger the email off an event hence why we've created our event and our email so we can do it that way and again that's your choice this is just my choice so we're going to trigger an event so this is this is um, an action that I created in a previous video around creating an event um, bizarrely enough ServiceNow doesn't come on uh, come with one out of the box which um, I think will probably change to be honest with you so we need to put in the record so this is I know this is the record sys ID so I need to get that for each sys ID okay and the event I can't remember what we called it so let's go and have a look okay ah yes we called it with the Z didn't we of course we did so we're gonna pop that in there now I could pass it in a parameter a palm 1 and a palm 2 and even a Q if I wanted to I don't need to at the moment those are not mandatory inputs inputs so for each item we're going to trigger this event we could 
also if we really wanted to you could create a log record so in our syslogs we could say an approval reminder has been sent for and we could then use for each record for approval for number so we could do that I've often been asked before why do I why do I select it from there well there's two different ways you can select it from there or equally I could come over here I could use this approval for on the right hand side the 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 tree the object tree approval for number and I could just drag and put it in there if I wanted to I'm not going to I do you know what I, I use it interchangeably it depends how I feel at the time which one I pick so we'll go for that one so we've done a log record what else could we do we may want to update the original record so that the parent record should I say so we could then put an update record action we could say update record so that is going to be for each um, it's the parent record of the approval so it'll be this one so that's the task record and we could update maybe the work notes so we could say approval reminder sent okay so within this flow I think I think we're pretty much finished so within this flow we're, we're triggering it we're using the uh, look up records action which gives us back an array we're cycling through each one of those we're creating an event or triggering an event which will send us a notification we're going to put a log in the sys record a sys logs and we're going to update the parent record of the approval so let's give that a save and we'll give that a test run okay so that's done slight confession here guys I paused the recording um, while that was running it took quite a while to run I didn't want you just to look at an empty screen um, however it's now run so we can go and see the execution there's a handy thing in this uh, flow designer there you can click on that and we can see the execution that ran so here we can see it ran for 328 records that it found um, and if you wanted to you could go to the different records so record number six and have a look what happened so we can see it created the event we can see the log step ram and we can see there look it's added the change record so don't forget we ran this for all um, task types for approval so this includes change and request item for requests and we can see the update record there so always good thing to do is we should go through and follow to make sure everything works so worked as intended so if we go to the event log we can see here we've got our approval reminder so here you can see that we've got the palm one which is a sys id of the user and the user's name there we could go to the emails check those have been sending excellent there you go urgent approval reminder um, and one thing to note here actually i i did realize um, this was going to happen as i was doing it so because we've we've added onto the work notes of change requests there is obviously a notification that triggers if work notes are added to change request so i would guess in this in this case fred um who's the owner of the um, change is going to get a notification to say uh, an approval reminder has been sent so we need to think about that um and in fact actually in this case it, it might be a good thing to know that that you know fred being the assigned to person has, has got a notification to know that his change requests have been um, approval requested so but anyway one, one to think about so that's the emails and then if we go to an approval record and find what's well, been requested let's not look at rhythms um, changes let's go to rhythms and we'll just pick on one of these just to check the work notes been added as well so we scroll down and there we go approval reminder sent now, of course, you, you can put a bit more text in there. Um, again, it's just to show you how it works. So let's have a quick look. So what did we do? We created a flow. Um, we created it based on a schedule. So we triggered it based on a schedule, Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Um, the first action that we're doing is we're going to go look for all the approval records that have been created seven days ago, a while ago. 
um, and they're still in the state of requested. Again, we can refine that to task type. Then for each one of those that we find, we create an event, which is going to trigger our email. We add something to the syslog. So from an administrator point of view, you can see, okay, something's been gone. Maybe we need that, maybe we don't. And then we update the, original, the, the parent task record to say, on the work notes, an approval reminder has been sent. So there we have it. Flow, in Flow Designer, um, the equivalent of a, a scheduled job that we all know and love. So there we go. So I've said this before and I'll say it again, but if there's anything you want me to expand on that I've, I've been over today or different topics you want me to cover in future videos, please add something into the comments below. If you're new and haven't subscribed yet, please do so um, and give me some motivation to keep on going. I think my next video is going to be more flow designer stuff because I know a couple of people have been asking me about more of that stuff. Um, so I'm probably going to delve into some integrations with that as well. All right. Well, thank you for viewing and I'll uh, see you next time.